What's up guys? I just got out of the shower and I'm gonna do a little get ready with me as you can tell by the title So I'm literally just getting ready to go out to eat with my family my mom and my sister I'm in my bathroom as you guys can see behind me. Uh, I'm literally just like sitting on my shower here I don't have a desk or anything in my studio yet. So this is what's gonna have to work I actually just got back from the gym. So I got back from the gym. I showered and I'm here now I'm just sipping on some protein, but yeah, I'm Super excited to get ready. Not entirely sure what I'm gonna do with my hair. I'm probably just gonna leave it natural. So I'm just gonna start off with a little bit of some hydration. I'm gonna go in with this Grace and Stella spray all day. Just take that. Honestly, maybe should have moisturized before that. I don't know. Honestly, like I said, I have no idea. Let that dry for a little bit. And just put some Burt's Bees moisturizer on. I love the smell of this moisturizer. Honestly, that's why I use it. I don't feel like it does like an insane amount of good. I'm gonna prime with this Maybelline Master Prime. This is the Blur and Pore Minimizer. I recently, if you guys know, I recently moved and I just got a bunch of my stuff out of my storage unit. And one of those things was a massive container of all my makeup so I forgot I had this and I just tried it and I kind of like it again it does kind of have like a little bit of an oily feel to it but it definitely minimizes my pores so I'm not gonna complain I'm gonna take this MAC studio fix fluid this is in shade C27 haven't used this in forever there's somebody outside my house it's sketchy living alone good lord well not living alone Brian's here but he's at work anyway I haven't used this one in forever because apparently I'm so pale that I have to go to my winter color that's embarrassing so anyway we're we're just gonna take this. I like to just focus, like start off right away on the perimeter of my face. If you guys hear anything, I have my dogs here. Again, like this is just a pretty casual, get ready with me, nothing too insanely professional. <laughs> but I've also been loving taking this Real Techniques brush. This one is a blend brush and I love how tiny it is just so I can slowly pat it in, but it is so dense that I feel like I get such a good blend. Who is outside? Okay, I'm fine. I'm probably just tweaking honestly, but it is anyway like I said I just focus this on the lower half I feel like it's just so much easier to blend and then I'll slowly make my way up sometimes if I do my eyes first I'll start with my forehead you know just depend next up I'm gonna be contouring and I'm gonna be taking this Juvia's Place foundation stick in Granada and I'm gonna be contouring my cheeks with this and my forehead and a little bit of my nose Ooh, that's a lot. That's why I always do contouring before I concealer anything so I can fix my mistakes, really. That's what my preference is. I never contour on my lip. I don't know why I just did that. I like this, but I'm used to just patting it on and then it does kind of get flat. Like I've never really had that issue. I'm taking an e.l.f. stippling brush just to blend all this in. And I like to pretty much just pat in and I'll slowly drag where I want it. I'm not usually swiping because again, I feel like that takes off the foundation or just makes the foundation look a little separate and this is harsh as you guys can see but like I said before I'll clean it up with powders and concealer I'm running out of this one but this is the elf 16 hour camo concealer in ugh, oh my god light sand I really do want to try the hydrating one I actually have the hydrating one but it was really meant for more of like a neutral concealer so I feel like I definitely do want to try the hydrating one for this color I guess I have already tried it and I like it a little bit better this one just dry so quickly and I've seen a lot of reviews that say that anyway so I guess I kind of knew that to begin with I'm gonna take the same brush I used to blend out my foundation and just go in and again at this point if my contour is a little bit too harsh I'll just try to like blend in my concealer a little bit better with my contour so it minimizes it and again the powders are gonna help a little bit too after this I had to quickly like FaceTime my mom and sister so I just went ahead and set my face with translucent powder all right so next up I'm gonna contour after I set my face I haven't used this one in a while this is the pretty vulgar bronze B bronzer and sunkissed snitch so 120 like I said I haven't used it in a while it's a definitely more of like a gray undertone I would say and I do like that a lot it's more of like a contour color for me honestly because contour I think don't quote me is meant to be more of like a little gray and more neutral and bronzer is meant to be a little bit more warmer but I love this one I think 
it's just so pretty but I need to stop going for just like pretty colors because I'm just like oh my god this is such a pretty color but it's like dude it's also like 20 shades too dark for you so just because it's pretty doesn't mean you should wear it maybe not right now this is definitely me in the summer though but and to kind of even it out I'll always just bring my bronzer a little bit down on my neck to help with that like because again I can never find the perfect match for foundation it always seems to oxidize or just be a little bit too light a little too dark and then in pictures I just look like a white little ghost and I'm just like okay my body isn't that tan but my makeup is just horrendous so anyways I don't usually add blush but I guess I'm just kind of feeling it today I'm gonna take this morphe blush palette and I'm gonna mix goals and sweet I put that on my cheeks first and then I'm kind of gonna just drag it across my nose as well here just to give me a bit more of like a sun-kissed look and then before I go on and do my brows I'm gonna take my highlighting palette here and just like really roughly blend a highlighter color at the top of my eyebrow bone I feel like I love this just like diffused look I'm also just gonna highlight as well you can highlight before or after you set your face I know a lot of people like to do it after just because it looks a bit more prominent and that's totally fine whatever fits into my routine I'm just like okay I'll do it so I have done my brows so many times on camera so I'm just gonna do them quick and I'll be right back so now that my brows are done I'm gonna go in with some mascara this is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot mascara I like it I have nothing much to say about it I feel like all mascaras are the same to me I might be doing a fake lash so we'll see here but I just feel like it always adds such a nice look to it but obviously you don't have to if you don't want to so while I wait for my lashes here, I'm actually going to just lightly line my lips. This is the NYX Sandstorm Liner, and I'm really just going to focus on like my cupid's bow and the bottom of my lip. Honestly, messed that up big time. Okay, so this is pretty much it. I could not find my, what is it? I just had the word, my hair dryer, but it's like something else that like helps scrunch your hair and dry it. I couldn't find it, so let's hope my hair stays like this. I have naturally wavy hair, but I never can get it to stay. Like, I, I don't know, honestly, but this is pretty much it. This is what my makeup turned out like. Super simple. I honestly, I've been loving putting my lashes up a little bit more. This I turned out a little bit better than this one. I think I might have to cut this lash a little bit, but putting my lash a little bit above where it actually should be and creating like that cat eye look. It's simple, but it is so stinking cute. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear. I think I'm just gonna wear some simple jeans. I might as well show you guys my outfit when I have it picked out. And then I gotta head over. Okay guys, so this is my outfit. It's really simple. I'm gonna wear a black jacket with this as well, just cause it's a local area and I know people are gonna be staring at me because I have so much stomach showing. But anyway, uh, my top is from Pretty Little Thing. This is like last season, I got this last year, and then my jeans are from Hot Miami Styles. Super duper cute, I love these, they fit so nicely, so I'm gonna wear a black jacket as well, and then some black combat boots. Um, I just have to quick let my dogs out to go to the bathroom, and then I'm gonna go. All right, we got the whole outfit here, so then I also have the black boots to match the black jacket, and we're good to go. I'm so excited, I'm so hungry, I didn't even have lunch today. I literally have been eating so bad, I think I had like cake. Cats. <sighs> okay, let's go.